Have you ever looked at those incredible AI tools and thought your computer was too weak to run them? I'm about to change everything you believe about AI on modest hardware. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to run powerful AI models on systems with limited VRAM using a Llama. Let me start by telling you something amazing. Just last week I was working on a project using my friend's laptop with a GTX 1060, a graphic card most people would consider obsolete. But with my method, I managed to run AI model that performed tasks just as well as cloud-based services, completely offline and without spending a single dollar. Money! The secret is Olama, and more specifically, the art of model quantization. If you're not familiar with quantization, think of it like compressing a high-resolution image. You reduce the file size, but the core detail remain crystal clear. With AI models, we're doing similar but dramatically reducing the computational requirements while keeping most of the model's intelligence intact. First things first, you'll need to download Olama. Head to the official Olama website and download the version compatible with your operating system. The installation is straightforward, whether you are on Windows, Mac or Linux. The process just takes a few minutes. Now, let's talk about choosing the right model. For systems with 4 to 6 GB of RAM, I recommend starting with the Phi 3 or the quantized Mistral 7B. These models are absolute champions of efficiency. The Phi 3, for instance, requires only about 2.5 GB of VRAM and can handle an impressive range of tasks. To download a model, you'll use a simple Olama command. For Phi 3, you type Olama run Phi 3. So after it's done installing the model, we'll use it later on. But for now, let's look at what different types of these models mean. Let's look at Mistral 7B model. For instance, there are so many variants of this 7B model only and deciding which to use can be confusing. So let's talk about it. First of all, we need to understand the model names and values. As you can see, the number like seven indicates the number of parameters in billions. For instance, 7B means the model has 7 billion parameters. More parameters usually mean the model can understand and generate more complex language, meaning more accurate responses with larger context windows. It simply means that the model is smarter and can understand and interpret the context of the whole chat. The instruct part indicates that the model is specifically trained to follow instructions. Models labeled as instruct are optimized for tasks where you can give them commands or questions and they provide direct fast responses. FP16 stands for 16-bit floating point. This format uses less memory than higher precision formats like FP32 which uses 32-bit and allows for faster computations. It's important because it helps models to run more efficiently on hardware, making them quicker and less resource intensive. The Q indicates that this model has been quantized, meaning it has been optimized to use less memory and run faster by simplifying some data representations. The number following the Q, like 2, 3, etc., represents different levels of quantization. Higher numbers typically mean more aggressive quantization, which simply means the models are more accurate but less responsive or a slower response time. That's why the higher you go, the more larger the model will be. The letters after the number like K, L often denote specific configurations or methods used in quantization. That's not very useful in today's video, but anyways, now you know. The prefix V indicates the version of the model. Higher version numbers generally mean improvements or new features compared to earlier versions. So just choose the latest one. Do you guys see this? These are unique identifiers or hashes for each model version often used for tracking purposes in databases or repositories, not useful for us. As of Mistral 7B instruct dash v0.2 dash q4 underscore zero, <laughs> that's a very long name, v0.2 and q4 underscore zero part is crucial. That's the version and quantization parameter that makes this model so lightweight. This specific version is optimized to run on systems with limited resources, essentially creating a slim version of the original model. And the higher the version, the more improved the output of the models will be. So make sure to look out for the version number. Now, installation is just the beginning. You'll want to test the model to ensure it's working correctly. Olama provides a simple command line interface where you can immediately interact with your model. Try asking it a few questions or giving it some simple tasks to understand its capabilities. So as Phi3 is installed now, let's ask a question like, 
what is Newton's third law? And as you can see, it's generating response and it's um, it's, it's quite good. For those wanting a more user-friendly experience like ChatGPT, I recommend installing Olama Web UI. It's an open source project that provides a beautiful intuitive interface for interacting with your local AI models. The installation involves a few additional steps, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll get a ChatGPT-like experience running entirely on your local machine. System requirements are more modest than you might expect. You'll want at least Intel i5 or AMD Ryzen 5 processor, 8 GB of VRAM, 16 GB is better, and graphics card with 4 GB of VRAM. The key is using quantized models that are specifically designed for lower-end hardware. I recommend not to go below the Q4 model. Performance will vary depending on your usage and your hardware, but don't be discouraged. Start with smaller models like Phi 3 and gradually experiment. Each model has its strength. Code Llama for programming, Quant 2.5 for general conversation, each optimized for different tasks. A few pro tips to maximize your experience always keep your models updated as the Ulama community frequently releases optimizations. Experiment with different quantization levels to find the sweet spot between performance and resource usage. And most importantly, be patient with yourself as you learn. And this is the most valuable advice I can give because installing and using AI models can be frustrating. So believe me, just be patient, keep it slow, keep it tidy. It will take time, but in time, you will be a master of AI. The beauty of Alama is its flexibility. You're not locked into a single model or service. Want to switch from a coding focused model to a conversational one? It's as simple as pulling a new model and switching your interface. And there's also functionality in Olama Web UI where you can use multiple models to generate the same output. And it can give you a comparison between both models. So you can just look at which model is generating a better response. So please check out the tutorial where we'll install Olama Web UI and set up your personal premium chat GPT for free. The video link will be in the description below. We'll look at setting up multi-model systems, creating specialized workflows and truly unlocking the potential of local AI. If this has been helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment sharing your experiences or asking any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.